Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this letterhead, how to create the text that will fit over or beside the graphics and how to save this as a template so it can be used over and over again. So let's open a new document. So firstly let's insert the graphics. So go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down, click on the square, click and draw out a rectangle that stretches across your page and if I deselect it and zoom in you can see this rectangle has a borderline and a fill colour so if I select it go to shape format go over to the outline icon click on the drop down and select no outline you can see it disappears then with the shape fill, click on the drop down. You can select from any color here, or if you want to select another color, go to more fill colors. And as you can see, we've got this darken and lighten slider here. We've got a small icon which we can move around the color wheel and your final color will end up here. And then just click OK. I'm going to select cancel because I've already selected my color, which is here. Let's just zoom out. Then we want to copy and paste this. The easiest way to do that is to select it. Hold down your Alter Option key, click and drag. I'm going to pop this one down at the bottom, roughly about there. I'm just going to make, oops, I've selected both, so deselect them. Just reselect the bottom one. And I'm going to make this a little bit taller. Then I'm going to copy and paste this one again. Again, hold down the Alter Option key, click and drag deselect, reselect this one and then I'm just going to change the shape of this one to go at the top here. Now with this one we want it perfectly centered so let's make it the desired size, make sure it's selected, go to shape format, align, align to center, deselect and make sure you're happy with that. The next thing is the graphic. So what we're going to do is just hop onto the internet quickly and we can go to this website here called Pixabay or Pixabay.com and in here I can search for foliage and we can put leaves if you want to and press enter. Then up here we can go from all images to illustrations and as we scroll down you can pick any of these designs that you like. Do make sure they're either on a background that's white, if you're only ever going to use white paper, or if it's not, then you need to have this checkerboard background, which means there is actually no background at all. So it won't matter what sort of paper or colour you're using. So just have a scroll down and just pick the one you want. Let's say, for example, this one, and you just go to click download, and then you can select each of the sizes if you want to and then simply click download. Once you've done that, if you go to insert, pictures, picture from file, I'm just going to go down to my downloads and I'm going to select this one here and select insert. And then when you insert an image, you won't be able to move it. So select it, go to wrap text and select in front of text. That's under the picture format icon at the top. Then just go over to transparency and select the transparency that you want. Then we can move this down and then we can tuck it behind. You can see at the moment it's on top of that pink graphic. So make sure this is selected again on picture format. Go to send backwards, send to back. And now when I pull it down, you can see that it disappears behind that border at the bottom. Now for this one, I'm going to copy and paste it. Again, the same thing, holding down the Alt or Option key. Deselect, reselect this one. Then I'm going to go to Rotate and I'm going to flip it horizontally. Reduce the size of it. Slightly rotate it and then move it over here. Once again, it's on top. So again, back up to the top, send backwards, send to back. And then you can freely move these around until they suit your need. Now we're going to insert some more text. So go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out the text box. 
I'm going to insert my text. I'm going to select it all and go to the Home tab. And of course, this is where you can customize all of your text in this section here. So I'm first of all going to center align it. Then I'm going to use this increase font size tool here to increase the size of it. You just keep clicking until you're happy with it. Then I'm going to adjust this text box by selecting it. Go to shape format. Once again, take off the outline and I'm actually going to take off the fill color as well and select no fill. So now it's completely transparent. I can then I can either select this text or just select the box and it will do all the alterations for me. If you've got your cursor inside the box and flashing, then nothing of the text will change if you're making alterations. So if it's not there, you can go up to home. You can go to font color and change the font color here. The other thing I'm going to do, and I will have to select it all for this, is click and drag across the text, right click, go down to font, and I'm going to increase the spacing between the characters. So go to advanced, go to character spacing, where it says spacing, click on the drop down and click expand. Then you can see how close these letters are to each other. Now, if I increase that by clicking on the up arrow, you can see that eventually they will start moving. So let's click five and click OK. And you can see now that there's a much bigger space between each of the characters of my words. Then I'm going to co go to shape format, align, align to center, deselect. Then I'm also just going to use my arrow keys up and down to center it to the pink graphic. Then to put the text in along the bottom, I'm actually going to steal this text box. So I'm going to click and drag and copy another one. Then I'm just going to zoom in, deselect, reselect this text box. And then we're just going to change the font color. We're now in the home tab, change the font color. I'm going to go to a middle gray. And then I'm going to reduce the font size here. And I'm going to take that right down to 10. And then this is where we can put in all of our details, such as emails, etc. Okay, so once you've got everything in, you can make a decision whether you want this one to be dead center. If so, select it. Make sure the margins are the same each side. Go to shape format, align, align to center. This one, then you can line up with by eye if you want to. Just move it left or right of the margin. Try to get the spacing from the last number to the edge of the page the same as this letter to the edge of the page as well. Once you're happy with the alignment, you can select them all holding down your command or control key. Then go to align, align to middle. That means they'll all be in one line and deselect. Perfect. If you're not happy with it, you can make the relevant adjustments. Maybe move this one in or this one. It's completely up to you. If you want the same gap between each of them, then I would suggest you select them all. Go to shape format, align, distribute horizontally. There'll be an equal distance between each of these. But of course, this one itself may not be in the middle of the page. But again, that's completely up to you. If you're happy with the alignment, what you can do is pull these two in, then make the alignment again, align, distribute horizontally, go to group, select group, and then you can go back up to align, align to center, and that will align them as well. So there's a couple of ways you can align everything at the bottom till you're happy with the look. Now to select the logo, you're going to go to insert, picture, picture from file, select the picture you want and click insert. I'm actually just going to copy and paste mine. Again, once you insert something, you may not be able to move it. So don't forget to right click on it or go to shape format, wrap text in front of text. And then again, with your logo, go to align, align to center, and obviously just make sure you're happy with the look. So next of all the text, at this stage, you can save this as a template because obviously this is going to be something you can use over and over again. 
and in which case you go up to file save as template save it as the document you want go to templates make sure it's on templates and make sure it's on microsoft word templates here then when you open up your software you've got your templates go to personal and it will be in there now when you come to adjust it and save it it will ask you to save it and give it a new document name so therefore not destroying this original copy so for the text and the words i always use text boxes so go to insert text box draw text box click and draw out the text box then add in all your text if i deselect it you can see we've got a black border line around the outside and a white background so select it again go to shape format click on the outline no outline shape fill no fill and this way you can actually adjust your text to put it exactly where you want to in your letter you don't have to have it stretching across the page you can have it just over to the left but of course if you want to you can put it right over if you want to center it again a line a line to center and that will send to all your text depending on exactly the look you're going for as for the address it's exactly the same let's just reduce the size of this i'm going to copy and paste it and then just select this text here i'm just going to paste in my address but normally i would just type it in you can see it's over to the right or aligned to the right that's where you go to the home tab and you select this align to right and again, you can pop this any way you want to. Ideally, we put it in the middle of this section here. So midway between these two, then you can just use your arrow keys and just move it down and then deselect. So if this is going to be a permanent feature and that's the way you want it to lie on your page, you can now save this as a template if you want to. Again, very, very versatile and you can make it look however you want. It's completely up to you. If you can't be bothered to do any of this and you'd like a copy of it, there is a link in the description below for where you can download it. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.